Hi guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Singularity. If you're new, great to have you. If you're not, welcome back. Guys, don't forget to subscribe or you probably won't see my new videos in your feed. And we've got some good ones coming up. I'm working on a video right now about all of the EVs coming to market within the next two years. And I'm going to list every single one. Boy, are there a lot coming. Well, you probably thought EVs were all about cars. And I did until recently. Most people seem convinced that fossil fuels are going to stick around in boats. They do. In fact, everyone's saying it in forums, on the internet, on the interwebs, whatever we call it these days. But that isn't true. Fossil fuel powered boats are actually less efficient than electric boats. And this is a huge market, a huge market just waiting to be disrupted. Guys, if you're a boat manufacturer, you're watching this video, get off your butt and look into how you can electrify your boats. Otherwise, you will just be disrupted by somebody else who does it before you. Now, obviously, EVs have huge advantages over their gas, diesel and petrol powered counterparts. If you didn't already know what those were, let's just make a short list. Servicing costs. You barely need to service your EV. Number of parts. There are literally 10,000 parts or more in an engine bay. Well, there's very few in an electric motor. Most motors have around about three parts in them, right? Servicing costs, obviously, are dramatically lower as a result. Have a look at what you have to do to service your Tesla vehicle. You have to change the windscreen wiper fluid, change the wiper blades, check your tires. Yep, that's about it. Okay. Other than that, brake pads. You don't need to use brakes at all. Disc brake. Discs. You don't need to replace your discs if you're not using your brakes. Obviously, when you brake, you basically piss away energy. That energy is heat. You just throw it off into the atmosphere. It does nothing. What happens when you brake in your EV? You regenerate your battery. Makes sense, right? Other areas that they, they are much better in. Well, it's much cheaper to charge your car than to fill it with petrol. Much, much cheaper. Not only is it much cheaper, it's also much better for the environment and it's better for you. If you didn't already know that diesel and petrol cause cancer, yes, it causes cancer. Drink enough of it into your lungs and there's a good chance you will get cancer. If your immune system is weak for whatever reason, whether you have bronchitis, a cold, whatever, coronavirus, I don't know, something's wrong with you. Well, that's when carcinogens take most effect and can kill you. That's true. Diesel and petrol, of course, have carcinogens. And if you just stand near your car when it's turned on, well, you're sucking those carcinogens down into your body. It's not all that different, really, to smoking a cigarette. Most people don't think about it like that, but it's true. So, well, boats are better, more efficient, if they're electrified. This is obvious, but I don't think anyone's talking about this. However, it's a game changer. And it means there is some huge, huge opportunities in this market. Now, what I never thought about was the fact that, I don't know if you've ever seen a surfing video. Well, surfers are into this thing called hydrofoiling, and they put a, high, a big foil on the bottom of their board, and they're able to almost effortlessly move along the ocean without even a wave or a wind sail. Now, how that's possible, I don't fully understand. But these hydrofalls are incredibly efficient. So a company called Candela has created an EV with a hydrofall on the bottom of the boat. And it costs 85% less than gas boats to run. That's now, when energy is virtually free, 2030 or 35 or 40. It's just a matter of time before it happens, before we have superpower. Now, if you're not sure what superpower is, Look up Tony Sieber's videos where he talks about superpower. Now, Tony Sieber predicted exactly where we would be today in 2010, and we are where he said we would be. He knows what he's talking about. Have a look. Tony Sieber, superpower. So energy will be virtually free eventually, and therefore that 85% reduction in energy in cost of running will probably be more like 98%. It's going to be enormous. 
So, where does that leave us? Well, that means that all boats eventually will be electrified, including large ones. I know people think large ones are going to be great for hydrogen. It's not going to happen. That's my prediction. So, what are these guys doing? Well, you've got to admit, public transportation has just gotten a lot cooler with this premium Swedish electric boat. Now, Candela has just unveiled the new Candela P12, which is an electric hydrofoil water taxi. It's designed to replace traditional diesel-powered ferries, and the P12 uses an electric powertrain combined with a carbon fiber hull and hydrofoils to create a super efficient drive system. Now, efficiency is not the only advantage of this boat. Do you get seasick? I sure as hell do. If you do, well, it sucks. Being on a ferry often really sucks. Even if you don't throw up, you can often feel terrible for days. Now, this is where the hydrofoil has a huge advantage. I'll talk about that in a minute. The 8.5 meter P12 water taxi can fit up to 12 passengers in its panoramic view cabin. The P12 also uses the same hydrofoil system already proven in the Candela C7, the company's luxury leisure electric boat. And this makes me think, well, I think in the future, the oligarchs, the evil billionaires, or just the rich people, are going to adopt electric boats, and if you don't have an electric boat, you won't be considered cool. Same will happen with electric supercars, because when all these billionaires realize, as some of them already have, just how slow petrol cars are in comparison to electric vehicles, they will think they're no longer cool and want an EV. The same will happen in the boat market, and that then trickles down from the top to the bottom. Anyway, the hydro falls on this boat. It lifts the hull of the boat completely out of the water, resulting in the P-12 effectively flying over the surface. This offers a huge number of advantages, including less energy use, less noise, a smooth, much smoother ride, and the ability to go across waters without leaving a wake. As a result, the boat can travel faster in previously restricted areas where boat wakes could damage vessels or harm marine wildlife. So the P-12 can cruise at 30 knots, 55 kilometers an hour, around about 34 miles per hour, and has an autonomy of more than two hours at 20 knots or 37 kilometers an hour. So it, the batteries can last for around about two hours at this stage. Obviously, energy density will increase, improve, and over time, that number will, be, will increase. The boat features DC fast charging that can top off the battery in just an hour. Thus, it could theoretically work repeatedly for more than two hours on and one hour off, or a fleet of P-12s could work non-stop as a taxi fleet. Obviously, you've got to remember as a taxi fleet, one of your main costs is cost of operation, the cost of running. If you're saving 85% on your costs, you'd be, have to be a moron not to transition to EV as soon as you can. Obviously, the same thing will happen in the trucking market as soon as trucking companies have the ability to purchase an EV and start saving a metric sheet ton of money. Now, the ride is made possible, the comfortable ride is made possible, both by the hydrofalls themselves and also Candela's proprietary control system that automatically adjusts the foils for the smoothest possible ride. It's an awesome thing to see. Have a look at the video here. Now, the company also says that means a 95% reduction of wave G-force compared to conventional ships, ending seasickness. Now, this boat, you've got to admit this is genius. They're ending seasickness and it's an EV. It's the best of both worlds. Amazing. Now, I can't wait to actually test one of these out and see if it really does end seasickness. I'm fascinated by this concept. So, Candela isn't just pitching the new boat as a high-performance or more convenient alternative to diesel ferries. They say it will be much cheaper to operate as well. Here's a quote from the company. Switching from a combustion engine to an electric boat shouldn't be a difficult decision. If you're smart, that is. With the P12, there's no trade-off between economy and environment. One of the big benefits of our hydrofall technology and our proprietary electric drivetrain is the low operating costs. P12 consumes 80% less energy than conventional combustion engine water taxis, or in other words, less energy per passenger than a family car. This means that even in markets where fossil fuels are subsidized, P12 will be considerably cheaper to operate than comparable, comparable combustion engine vehicles. Obviously, it's also going to need a lot less servicing, a lot less. With the gasoline price of 
0.6 euro per litre. P12 will in fact be about 85% less expensive to drive. And obviously that's ignoring the fact that maintenance costs on a petrol or diesel boat are astronomical. Everything rusts. The more parts you have, the more things there are to rust. So the, P the P12 is expected for delivery by mid-2022. That's the good news. It's coming soon. However, if you can't wait that long, you can still get your feet wet with Candela's C7, just a bit more than 200,000 US dollars. So, I've always wanted a yacht, and I'm hoping by the time I can actually afford one, I'll be able to get one powered by batteries, and hopefully also a hydro for it. That would be awesome. Guys, what do you think? Do you think the boating market will transition to electric? Do you think the shipping market will transition to electric? Now I do, and I'm going to make a video soon about why I think it makes sense. More sense than what people realize. And it's to do with something very, very obvious, I think. Guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. Great to have you here. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.